côté en bas. Morning all. What are you doing? So yesterday I managed to get quite a bit of this sand back. You can see how far I've scraped down. Because those pallets were on the top and out there. <laughs> yeah. But I've made myself a bit of an area here and just sort of pushed all the sand back over there, buried off my wood as well, by the looks of it. But what I'm going to do today, I'm going to pop up now and borrow the big yellow loader with the wood splitter on it. I'm going to try and get rid of this whole pile today. Just get it done and then stack it just here. Hopefully. Might need another pallet at the end. But I'm going to build like a roof over this and stuff, but for now I'm just going to tarp it. Because I want to get this clear so then I can move more of the sand and just get this area back together, you know. So that's the plan. Now that I've scraped this back, so it's only a little bit, like, it's a lot lower than it was, and I've gone over it with a compactor, it's much better. So the whole area will be like this eventually. But yeah, down here, as you can see, we've still got, it's about a foot deep <laughs> of sand. I just ended up using the blade on the tractor and pushing it, not reversing sort of worked but yeah work with what we got doesn't help that this thing is completely mangled i'm gonna have to repair that soon Okay, pretty much set up and ready to go. I've put it on pallets this time. This is obviously still going to take some of the weight, but before it would slowly drop and then I'd have to keep putting it up. But I know this looks kind of ridiculous. Tiny little machine being powered by a massive machine. But really, the way that this works is using the tractor hydraulics. And that, that's all that's coming from this, other than picking it up with the forks. But, yeah, those hydraulics power this big ram here. And that is controlled. There's some solenoids in here. So when it gets to the bottom, it, it sort of senses that and then sends it back up again. And then you just connect it to a car battery, and that's it. Bloody effective, cool piece of machinery that's going to make doing the wood very quick and easy. So I'll get it fired up and we can see it in action and then I'm going to have to crack on I want to get this whole pile gone today. And I've got the chainsaw, I'm going to cut it in half so I can get things out a bit easier. But let's run a few logs through it just to make sure everything's working and then we'll get on with it.
you're smelling. Who? We mm. on my wheel. Oi! <laughs> Unbelievable. You don't want to be warm in the winter then. Oh, hmm? Piss on your wood. If you just move this out of the way, I can drive over. And this is what we're left with. Nice big pile of bits. We've moved most of it. Started stacking some here. Some's gone in the woodshed, some's gone in the carport. But yeah, massive lot of work done in a very short amount of time. So it is good. These few here don't fit in the machine. I can't even pick these up anyway. So I have to do these by hand, but that's okay. But yeah, so I'm going to chop these up tomorrow and move them, move that pile backwards and then we can get this sand situation organised. And then over there I need to build a roof <laughs> or yeah, some kind of shelter so we can stack a load of firewood there. And then yeah, going forward it should be really nice once this area is tidy. Because then I can like bring wood in like this, cut it here, and then just stack it there or wherever. Not a huge fan of using the machine, the splitter. I mean, it does the job. It does it fast. It's quite messy. It crushes the wood a lot. So you end up with loads of little bits like this rather than you know nice solid pieces which on the one hand it saves me having to cut as much kindling in the winter but on the other hand it's kind of a waste of wood because if you've got a nice big chunk that's going to burn for a long time but then you split it into this stuff it yeah the wood doesn't go as far basically so and to be honest, I much prefer doing it by hand. As you all have seen, I enjoy doing it with the axe. It's just nice, but when there's pressure, like when you need to do a load quick, then the machine is the way forward, obviously. But I want it, this is why I want to build this area, how I like it, so that 
it's efficient and then all through the year I can be splitting wood just a bit you know each day come out for half an hour an hour whatever and just keep it rolling like that as opposed to leave it all and then have to get the heavy machinery in and do it all in one go so I don't really like that it's quite relaxing to come out for a bit in the evening and split some wood with an axe it's like therapy but yeah I think that is going to do because we're going in for dinner now and I'm well and truly knackered <laughs> so the last of the mosquitoes hanging on not bad now but yeah signing off I'll see you all on the next one catch you in a bit just a little extra bit on the end for you all I don't know if it's gonna work but look at this oh, it's not really working <laughs> we have stars again lots of stars Milky Way just there. If it's picking up, probably not. <laughs> There's a big dipper. And there you go. I've missed the stars. It's been a while. See you in a bit.